Hey everyone, welcome back. In this episode, oops, my bad, we're going to be moving those chests aside because it's time to expand upon the area and add the quarry. So, to do that, we're going to need a new place to actually store our goods. So, thankfully, we have a lot of open space for that kind of stuff. So, we're going to be going ahead and, let's see, taking all the dirt and stuff out of this one, moving it down here, taking all the cobble and stone out, moving it over here. Taking all this stuff out, and then we're going to take that chest with us. There we go. So, um, before, I, I, I kind of just want to put this out here, but um, one of my biggest pet peeves that I have is um, when I go and, like, you know, spend the day, like, washing and detailing my car, and um, it, it freaking rains for five hours straight the next day, even though the weather said it wouldn't. I'm just a huge fan of when that happens. I just love it so much when I spend hours going through detailing, waxing, washing, vacuuming the interior, cleaning out the wheel wells, polishing everything. And then it rains for five hours and it sets it right back to where it was the next day. I'm just a little salty about that, but yeah, that um that happened because uh, yesterday I spent the entire day trying to clean my car and get it looking all nice and whatnot, just trying to you know do that. But nope, turns out uh turns out that is not on the agenda for the day. And instead, I have to go and suffer. So, I know that's not like a super big deal or anything like that, but, I mean, it still just gets on my nerves because, I mean, it's just something that is just, it just sucks. I mean, it really does just, just suck because I can't, I don't know, I mean, I'm kind of a freak about my car. Um, I'm what you would call a car guy, I guess. So, and because of this minor obsession I have with my vehicle, I tend to try to keep it as good as a condition as it can be in, which will occasionally lead to disappointment, like on, like, uh, like today. So, I just watched it in the work parking lot as, um, it drowned in rain so then of course it all dried and you know it's the crusty dirty rain so it looks terrible when it dries and I basically just took it out and uh power washed it and um yeah so this one's gonna hold stone and dirt in it um I know that has like nothing to do with minecraft but I just had to had to vent about that and uh, talk about just kind of how much it sucks because you know it's just on my mind and um, that's kind of why I do this series is so I can talk about things that are on my mind whether it be a grandma that's giving me stress which is currently what's going on right now for those of you who are unaware. Um, I have an extremely crazy grandmother who is currently in town. I briefly went into detail about this um, in the uh, the Skyrim and the Getting Over It episode. Shoot, I don't know if I uploaded that or not. Um, okay, so I'm kind of recording all of these in a really weird order right now. I'm just kind of getting them to get them out of the way. 
because I'm trying to create a stockpile of videos. So that way I can just focus on getting the project that I have promised done. So, oh, but oh boy, does, um, is it hard to get things done when you have a crazy grandmother breathing down your neck, quite literally? Ugh. So it's been a, it's been a fun couple days with her around. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, please see um, Skyrim episode four, because I go into a full tirade about that. And boy, is it an interesting story talking about all of the racist and fun things that she does. So, of course, I say that with absolute sarcasm because what she does is absolutely terrible. Or what she said, anyways. So. And because I am a, uh, a huge uh, stickler for getting free views, I'm not going to spoil anything about what she does. And instead, um, if you want to hear about it, please uh, see Skyrim episode 4, because that's where I go into the full rant and talk about why um, my distaste towards her is justified. But keep in mind that I also have my awesome grandma on my father's side, who is your stereotypical bread-baking amazing grandmother, who actually cares about being a good grandmother, and... Uh, pretty much has the best grandmother bread ever. Um, so, just to prove that I actually do have a soul and can compliment people, because, I mean, it may not have been known with the way that I have currently been acting. So, I don't know. I mean, it's sort of me just kind of being a whiny little brat, but... At the same time, um, it's just one of those things, you just have to know the full story before, uh, before you can do the judgments and whatnot. So. <sighs> it's not really, um, like, it, it's just kind of, I gotta be careful. I don't know. I mean, it's it's not like... I mean, I can't really even, like, get, you know, go into full explanation for these kind of things either, because it's like... How do I explain... You know... It, it's just dumb. I don't know why I'm still talking about this. Anyways, right now I'm trying to just sort up all my chests... Okay, good. The roof design that I did previously works with this, so that's kind of cool. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was purposely lazy with the way I was setting up the roof. And it turns out that it worked out perfectly, and I can actually now place chests at the ceiling. So that worked out in my favor. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now we have one more chest to grab. There we go. It looks like there's a spider up there because the way I have that um, flower shelf set up. It's kind of weird. I keep doing that. There we go. So, that's kind of a neat little storage place, that. Um, let's go cut down some trees. Specifically, uh, spruce. So, even though we have a lot of spruce up there, I just kind of want to get some, some more cut down, because I may as well, you know, it's just easy access, I guess. I mean, it's a lot easier to, um, 
And then, well, actually, that's not true. It's pretty easy to just go up and grab stuff from a chest, but I want to avoid using up all my wood when I can easily just go and harvest more of it rather than constantly using up my limited supply. So, it's more of just like a conservation thing. I want to keep as much resource as I can in the chests if it's easy to grab. So, <sighs> all right. So the reason for this is that I want to make a lot of spruce fences here. Okay, uh, there was a very slight miscalculation on my part. So let's just go up and grab more spruce because at this point we kind of have to. So that was pointless. All right. That should be enough. All right, so we're just gonna fence off this area here. We're gonna leave it open right here because the building is gonna connect to it. So we're gonna add branch points right there. There we go. And I don't know what we're gonna do right here for this part because of the way it's located from its distance. So I think we're just gonna have some decoration stuff. So let's go get some stone. Let's see. I'm gonna want stone brick in particular. So we're gonna get some more smooth stone. Um, slabs, cobblestone. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do it that way. I'm gonna need some wood as well for detail pieces and some string. Um, I'm definitely gonna need these spruce fences as well. So, um, what I'm going to be building here is going to be a little bit of a surprise. So we're going to need quite a bit of stairs. Um, and then we're going to have to convert a couple of you guys into that. Let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna need these slabs here. Then I'm gonna need probably one set of those. All right, then right here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be grabbing the first set of wood stairs. And let's see how we're going to place this here. Should probably do it right here, but there's not enough space to build what I want to build. So we're going to have to clear some more. Oh, I can't do that. Oops. So we're going to do it right back here. Maybe on this kind of corner area here, because it shouldn't go back too far. Okay, it looks like we're good to go. So, just clearing up more of a corner piece for this area. Because I could do it here, but the problem is it'd be touching the fence. Although it would look a lot better if it was right here. Actually, no, I could do it here. So we're gonna do these here, followed by detail slabs. Um, we need to 
extend the foundation to make it more natural. Then we need to put Uh, I should probably actually slide this over a little bit so it looks more fitting with the area. Let's see, pop it over. Yeah, I can do that. All right, we're going to pop it over one. So, a little unorthodox, but you guys are probably pretty confused as to what I'm building. And if I do this right, it should be fairly obvious. But if I don't do it right, then I'm going to have a lot of explaining to do. Like, a lot of explaining. So. I'm going to look at some... Oh, I have some right here. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and break off this here and trim it. And that leaves us with just enough space to put our down our previous contraption down. So we're gonna mark out the corners. Right. Actually should be one wide or should be two wide. If it's one wide it looks less industrial. So we're gonna do a one wide and see if that works. Um because I guess two wide would be more for larger scale projects, so this might work a little better. So we're going to do the stone bricks here. This should be high enough. Then we're going to stack sort of this back frame at the back here. Back frame at the back. I'm an idiot. And then we want this platform to extend out about this far here. And we're going to break this block. And then we need to bring this out to the middle of this quarry. Okay, so that's technically the middle. So then we need to go and get our dirt ready and our fence ready and one of our other slabs ready. So now comes the part where I expertly That should probably be a different color. We're going to go get um, a birch fence instead for this. After I, of course, get some sleep. It... God. Damn it. Okay. Uh, crisis avoided. Wait, what do you mean it's too far away? Alright, let's go get some birch. I might end up doing it. I don't know if I'll be able to keep holding back and not go on their grandma rant. I'm trying really hard not to, but oh my gosh, is it is it hard? It's it's like all the little things that happen. It just like sticks in your head like a parasite. You just want to like blab about it. God, I hate some people. 
Okay, hate's a strong word. I don't, I don't hate, but I guess it's just like, I just get annoyed, I guess. I guess my biggest problem with my grandmother is, yeah, we're going in, we're going into this territory right now, is that she doesn't treat me like an adult. Like, I mean, I'm in college. I've got my own job. Granted, I am still living with the folks, but then again, I am paying rent, so I mean, there's also that, so it's not really too big of a gig, but I mean, I'm self-sufficient, wake up every morning at 4.30 a.m., I get to work at 5.30 a.m., I do all this stuff, and yet none of that matters, apparently, because I didn't go into construction, so that makes me And I don't get treated as an adult, and I just, I don't know. It's just, I guess it's dumb for me to complain about it, but I don't know, I, I just, I don't know, I mean, I just kind of feel dumb complaining about this right now, but, uh, where did one of your slabs go? I could have sworn I had more smooth stone slabs to use. Do I not? Where'd my other two smooth stone slabs go? I know I had some. Am I just not seeing them? No, they're gone. So I guess as childish as it sounds, I guess I just want to be treated like an adult for my grandmother, most importantly, over everything else. But I can't even get that. So... It just, I don't know, I, it's just getting on my nerves, I guess, that no matter what I, like, you know, do, it doesn't matter. I'm still treated like a child. And I, I guess I'm just complaining at this point in time for no reason, and you guys do not need to hear any of this because it's unjustified, ridiculous, and whatever, but yeah. Ugh. That is not turning out how I wanted it to. It was I'm trying to do a crane, but it's not looking looking very good. Okay, that really does not look very good. So I'll see if my secondary detail pieces help add to it, but this might be just a failed experiment. So. <sighs> Speak of the devil. I am getting devilish text messages. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, everything's good, everything's good, everything's good, everything's good. I got this, we're building a crane, we're doing a crane, the crane is what we're building. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. So, God, that text message makes me want to end the episode right now and just stop everything. Just why? Why?
why do I need to take time off work for you to go to Winco with your dogs? Or, sorry, for you to go to Winco and I'm going to watch your dogs. I don't, I'm not going to do that. Are you kidding? I can't just take time off in the middle of the day. You, she, she knows I have work too, but she doesn't care. It's not construction. It's ridiculous. Why can't I just get like a little bit of respect from this family? Am I wrong here to think that it's not fair for? I mean, I don't know. Because I just wanted to get work, get a lot of work in so I could afford to go to college next semester. And that'll cost me about $50 to take the time off that she's wanting me to from work. Which is, you know, about four hours. So... <sighs> Why? I'm sorry that this is, that this video has turned into this. I'm I'm really sorry. I didn't mean I mean that for uh, the video to take this direction. Um, you've probably already most of you have probably already clicked off by now, and I understand that. So, anyways, let's try to at least get this done. So what we're doing right now is I'm actually building. Uh, gears in the back here that look like they're kind of like kind of grinding against each other. This I'm going to try to. I don't know how well it's going to turn out. I'm a mess right now. All right. Things are not going how I want them to. This is turning out terrible. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, we need to reinforce the bottom here. Um, I need these to be upward struts right here along the sides that don't have the ladder for support. Um, we're going to remove these right here and replace them with stone brick like that oh wait I can't do that because of the great so I'm gonna have to actually do that doesn't really work but kind of does at the same time. Hmm. I'll just do stone brick slabs. Okay. I gotta think about how I'm gonna do that top there because we have that back little gear there. I'm gonna probably add one more. I need to reinforce the area that you climb up on. I don't know, I guess I'm just sort of like flustered about this whole thing with uh, having to go take four hours out of my day to watch her dogs while she goes to uh, Winco or Costco or wherever, which they're basically just surplus stores so she can buy.
Okay. Enough of the pity party. Let's go. So... It's really hard to focus when I'm like this flustered. I'm honestly wondering if I'm in the wrong here. I don't know. All right, well, anyways. Long story short, for those of you who um, have not seen the Skyrim video, I've got a very lazy cousin who went into construction and actually lost his job in construction, but he still receives all the praise for being the family's golden child in my grandmother's eyes. Despite the fact that he's currently living in his father's basement right now, even though he is 23, does not go to college, has not attended any school, dropped out of high school, and he's the golden child. And, um... Uh, despite everything that I've managed to do, does not matter. So I did not do construction. All right, let's take a look at how good the, the crane's turning out. I'm a little curious to see how well this uh, monstrosity slash, uh, it's actually not bad. I need to do some work on the wheels in the back though. Those are supposed to be like little, like little cogs. Um, let's see, how can I add definition so it's obvious that they're um, like crank wheels? Hmm. I'll figure something out probably later, but I need to add some upper definition to that and probably some things on the end there. Then I'll need to implement the string. So the string was going to be used um, going up here like this. I might need to I don't know if I have enough. To do what I wanted to. That kind of sucks. So we're gonna do this here. Like that. No, because it's going to look absolutely terrible. I almost died. Yeah, that looks not okay. That, that, <laughs> that is ridiculous. So the string is probably a little too high. So we're going to bump that and bump that like that. That's probably still too high. We're going to bump it like that with a stair. No. Another slab right there, sort of a reinforcement piece. I'm not going to grab that. Yes, I am. And then we're going to remove part of the string here. Great. Now I really need to go down there and grab it. I don't know why I'm worrying about the string. It's like not even like that visible.
I thought it would kind of look nice as like rope, but I guess not. I might need to do, I can't really do leads either. So at least in this scenario, I can't. Not enough materials for me to properly justify using a lead, and it's also very difficult to position animals in the right position, so I'm not sure if it's a good idea for me to do that or not. <laughs> this whole crazy grandma thing has me, like, so tilted right now. Like, I don't know. I, I kind of feel bad for, like... This the ending of the episode being so just consumed by by this. So I'm really sorry about that. I didn't really mean for the episode to turn into that. So my bad. Hmm. Well, let's see how the crane turned out, at least. It's not too bad. That looks okay. I mean, it could be a lot better, but... You know... It works. Let's take a look at it from this distance over here. That's not bad at all. It's a lot better than I thought it would be, that's for sure. Well, anyways, um, I am about to go, uh... Either buckle and, um... Uh, I tell my grandma that I'm totally cool with watching her dogs tomorrow, or put my foot down and say, I, you know, I've got work, and I gotta, I gotta do this. Oh my god, why, 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 why? I usually don't end up doing this, I'm really sorry. Um, and I can't just go and stop the recording, because I don't want to redo this, and I have to go to bed, because it's already almost o'clock and if I want to get uh, five hours at least you know six hours of sleep then I need to go to bed like right now but uh, oh my gosh okay anyways thanks for watching I'm sorry the episode turned into this I hope you guys somewhat enjoyed this if you did like comment subscribe do whatever um uh if you're following me on twitter I'll be able to probably get some some cool updates and whatnot for y'all on uh on later this week um thank you all for you know tuning in i may as well get a crappy snapshot of the crane for uh screenshot purposes i guess because why not uh, those two back wheels need to be updated and something different but anyways thank you all for watching and dealing with my stupid drama rant thing and whatnot and yeah hopefully you're having a better night than i am <laughs> thank you for watching and